Is everybody here that wants to see a hanging? <laughs> well, in this case, I'm happy to oblige. My name is Lewis Thornton Powell. It is July 7th, 19, or 1865, a long time ago. Welcome to the day of my death. I had this harebrained scheme a couple of months ago. I figured it'd work out well for me. Me and a couple of pals we had, we decided that we'd try and kill three people at once. Anybody know the names of them? Yeah, one. Who else? Lincoln. Well, Lincoln's a popular guy. <laughs> now, what about the vice president? What was his name? Seward. That was the secretary of state, William Seward. <coughs> but who was the vice president? Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson. We got three. We were going to do them all at once. We figured it was a good plan. We had four guys. We'd have three groups. Only one of us succeeded. Anybody remember his name? John Wilkes Booth. The other two didn't. I was the guy that was supposed to bust into William Seward's house. I had a gun. I had a knife. He had a broken arm and a broken jaw from a carriage accident two weeks earlier, and he still fought me off. I stabbed him a couple of times. I figured I got the job done, so I run off, hid into a cemetery for about four days in a tree. And by then, I figured maybe the heat had died down, so I tried to go back to the safe house with a pickaxe in my hand, walking up there just as the cops showed up to arrest everybody else. They figured I looked a little bit suspicious showing up with a pickaxe in my hand. So guess what? We all got arrested, and then we end up at this part right here that you see, public hanging. We had four people with us. Three of them are ghosts right next to me. Can you see them? No. It's kind of scary. I came back. Maybe they will, too. <laughs> when they pulled the lever to drop me through the door, I hung and swung for seven minutes before I finally died. The hangman actually complimented me before I left. Anyways, do you know where my head is? It's in Geneva, but I'll show it to you right now because I want to tell you a little bit about the nice side of me. Before I was known as Doc, and I was called Doc because I really, really loved animals. And by love animals, I mean I used to bring them back to help. If I had one, they would just show up in the yard. It was sick. And so I did that for a while until this famous war happened. Anybody know what that was? The War of Northern Aggression. You got that right, sir. They aggressed and we fought back. And I fought back up at the Battle of Gettysburg. I got wounded there. It was one of many times I was wounded, put into a hospital, Union Hospital of all things, where I escaped. I was very, very good at this. Eventually I got into the Confederate Secret Service. It was one of the first ones. We were very, very secretive. That's why you probably never heard of us. <laughs> so I escaped again. And uh, then we get in this special group of people that you may know as actors, also known as people that try and kill the president. And the rest is history. Anyway, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my family. You may have heard of that giant church over there. What's it called? The Baptist. My dad started that one after he moved down here. My dad also started the First Baptist Church of Geneva also. And that's where my head's buried, Geneva Cemetery, right next to my parents. My mom's name was Patience. Patience Powell. And uh, it took a long time for me to be buried next to her, about 130 years before they found it. It was just hiding in the Smithsonian institution when they're pulling a whole bunch of skulls out of there. They never found my body again. Anyways, got a question for you. During the war they'd let us go sometimes and I come down here. How do you think I got down here when there were no cars? Oh, well, there's this famous animals in Oviedo I knew about. So when I went up to war, I brought them. Yeah. This kid's good. They had hot air balloons, but they didn't have propulsion for them. So what you do is you rise up in these things, and then you let the chickens loose, and they start flapping away because they don't know what to do. They're hundreds of feet in the air, and then gradually you get home. You gotta have a rudder for these kind of things. I invented it. That's it for me, folks. Thank you. By the way, part of that's not true. Try and guess which one it is. <laughs>